In this video, we're going to discuss what air embolism is. And in order for you to um, get an air embolism, you need more than 100 milliliters of air, usually, inside your circulatory system um, to form these air emboli, emboli. And just to review, if you have a blood clot, you have a thrombi or a blood clot, and then when a piece of that moves and, and lodges elsewhere, that's called an embolism. So when you have air, you have some kind of gaseous substance inside your circulatory system, and that can cause um, lung damage, brain damage. It can cause any of the any of the symptoms or signs and symptoms of that are associated with emboli. So what are some of the causes of an air embolism is you can have it through obstetric procedures, chest wall injuries, uh, deep sea diving. If you also, if you fly and the cabin is not pressurized, that can also change your, your, the air mixture or the air density inside your circulatory system. So the over the the most common type of an air embolism is the decompression sickness, also known as the bends. So what happens is in this case, the bends, you have an increase of nitrogen inside your blood supply. And so if you're a scuba diver, a deep sea diver, or individuals that work on construction bridges, you can be at risk for this. And if you remember the PV equals NRT from physics, uh, this equation, this uh, gas equation, you know that pressure is inversely proportional to volume. So as you increase in your pressure, the volume of gas decreases. And so what happens is that when you decrease if you increase in your pressure as in I'm diving down deeper underwater then you're decreasing you're increasing your pressure and that volume your gas your gas volume will decrease and so the nitrogen will build up inside the tissues and as you and as you come up out of the deep dive and you're you're coming up what will happen is the nitrogen will then increase in its volume and can start bubbling out bubbling out into into your into your cardiovascular system and that will can go down the pipe and cause problems also inside your joints and around joints you can have these nitrogen molecules uh, building up and as you come up too quick if you come up from a dive too quickly they'll start bubbling out and they'll increase in their volume and there's little mechanoreceptors little receptors inside these ligaments and joints and stuff that are that respond to a pressure change so and that's what this nitrogen is is there uh, causing these mechanoreceptors to fire and that is very painful and the reason why it's called the bends is in 1880 when people started would come up from dives they would arch their backs you know they would arch their backs and I guess there was a, a popular women's fashion or whatever is called the Grecian bend and they used to bend like this I guess and that's why it's called the bends the same thing can happen inside the lungs. If it happens inside the lungs, it's called the chokes. And gas bubbles in the vascular system inside the lungs can cause edema, cause bleeding, hemorrhages, and can cause focal atelectasis, which is a collapse of the lung, or emphysema. And that can lead to respiratory distress. If you have kind of a chronic decompression sickness, you can have Cassian disease. And this is chronic decompression sickness that, <clears throat> excuse me, chronic decompression sickness uh, that's persistent of gas emboli in the bones, okay? And it leads to multiple foci of ischemic necrosis, so your, your uh, bones undergo ischemic uh, necrosis, and the heads of the femurs, tibias, and the humerus, humeri, that they are most commonly 
um, affected. So that's air embolism. We'll see you in the next video.